Hello YouTube. Welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to work on the replacement of the collet alignment screw. It's the part that I kind of destroyed when I was doing some really heavy cuts with the big shell mill. I ended up having to use a bearing puller to, to pull the shell mill off because it had actually slipped on the alignment screw. So this is that uh, large shell mill and you can see where the alignment screw cut into it right here and that was just from actually turning once it got into that state you know I, I didn't actually know what all was going on I just knew it didn't want to come out and I loosened up the draw bar even just you know tapping on it normally it just pops loose and you just catch it but in this case it, it would not move and I ended up uh, clamping a puller onto it and actually forcing it to come out which then just pulled that draw or the uh, alignment screw through the metal here which mushroomed over and kind of destroyed the alignment screw and destroyed this um, arbor. So I ordered a replacement, saw how to do it. It looks like it's a relatively simple process so we're going to go ahead and try to get that done here. Let me bring you in and uh, let you see what I have set up here. To make this job a little bit easier, I went ahead and lowered the knee all the way down, pushed the table all the way to the back, so it'll be completely out of the way. I've lowered the quill a couple of inches, should give me plenty of room. So the first thing we've got to do, come around to the back here. If you look right here, there's a eighth inch set screw, Allen hex head set screw. Came out pretty easy. So then making sure the quill is locked and the spindle is locked. I can use these little pin spanner wrenches and I, I should be able to pull this part off now. You bring it back around to the front. So one thing I did notice that I had already double checked, I, I tried putting this into the holes and because of the way the spindle is designed the holes were actually too close. I ended up having to take this and just touch it a little bit on the grinder in there so you can see I just had to cut those down flat so that they would close in far enough to get onto there. All right, so maybe that's a, something that should be taken apart on occasion as it is pretty crusty in there. I've never had this apart before, so it's not really in the general maintenance or anything, but perhaps it's probably a good idea. I went ahead and cleaned this guy up a little bit. He looks uh, significantly better. Now to get to this set screw, I actually got it just barely out of alignment. So I had a ball in the uh, Allen wrench, it'd probably be a lot easier. Alright, so there is the set screw portion. And here I'm actually trying to push it in 
since it had been uh, messed up on the outside, I don't want to pull the messed up portion through the good threads. So I'm hoping I can just push it in until it falls out. It's already got chunks of it falling out. All right, so the original, the original finally came through. And it actually, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway, but I think I'm gonna keep it. it. Actually looks, I would say it's probably perfectly fine. I would guess when I looked up there with the camera, it probably had some metal ground into it from that R8 Arbor and made it look and feel as if it was mushroomed over. And those are probably the chunks that fell out. I'd mentioned that as I was screwing this in. But I think those chunks fell out and the pin itself is probably okay. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. This will become a new spare. I'll throw it in the toolbox. And, you know, within a couple of weeks, I'll forget what it even is. And few years from now when I actually need one, I'll completely forget I have one. I'll buy a new one. They're not expensive. Of course, the hardest part is going to be getting this lined up, being that it is just above collar. So the, the Allen wrench won't go in straight. Luckily, it's got pretty good threads on it, so everything seems to be fairly clean and oiled. So it's rolling in pretty smooth. I'm just using my finger to feel as that little alignment nub starts to come out. Alright, it's there. Now I'm going to grab a collet and make sure it fits, and then I'll snug it down just right. Three quarter inch end mill call it just when I grabbed kind of randomly. My thought is yeah, I'll go in till it's just a little bit too tight and then loosen it. Until everything slides in. I could shoot. Let me go ahead and try a couple of collets and see how they all feel. Here's an eighth inch collet. Continuing to check, I've got this is my keyless chuck. Then I have a small set screw here that we have to put in. Now that I've got everything aligned, most all the collets seem to be, uh, at least all the random ones I've tried, seem to fit pretty well. I think this is going to be fairly tricky getting this up into here. And again, there's just not a lot of room. And I'm just feeling the, the actual pin itself, making sure that it doesn't spin. Get on there pretty good and crank it down a little bit. All right. So that should be it. New call it set screws in place. It's just time to get everything reassembled. The 
just a little set screw from the back. So there was a little hole drilled. I don't know if you saw this guy spun just a little bit. I had him close to lined up as I put that set screw in. He just lined up with the hole that was drilled in the back there. So he should be good there. Screws in place. Everything's back together. Everything moves up and down like it should. I think I've got a good repair. I'll put this guy in this bag. Maybe I'll actually write on it so I know what it is. So after the bit of a scare that I had with that call it set screw, because I've just never been into that port, part of the bridge port, uh, turns out that was a relatively simple repair. I'm guessing I'm not the only one that's had that happen. And Bridgeport learned early on and made that easy, easy to fix. So if you're ever in that situation, and you need to repair it, I say go for it. It's fairly simple. You've seen how it's done now. Good luck and keep building.